Hey all, in today's video, we're gonna add some flocking to this laser cut box. If you've never used flocking before, it's an easy way to give your projects that soft, luxurious finish and perfect for adding that extra touch to your boxes. If you've been following me for a while, you might remember in a previous video on making this box. We went all out by adding an epoxy ocean pour to create something different. Well, we had a customer reach out who loved the box but wanted to have a little more elegance, so we decided to add a velvety turquoise lining. It's easier than you think. I'll even throw in some tips to make sure that you don't make some of the same mistakes I did when I started. So let's start flocking. Since this box has already been assembled, I'm going to do a light pencil mark where I don't want any of the flocking. I'll have a link in the description below on how to make this box, as well as a list of all the materials you'll need. Start by adding a thin layer of paint to the inside of the box. Unfortunately, my camera cut out while I was recording this you'll want to use a craft acrylic paint that matches the flock color. In this way, any area that might be a little light with the flocking won't show up. I did two light coats and I let each coat dry. This really doesn't take long with acrylic paint. Out of an abundance of caution, I decided to put painter's tape on the outside of the box. I would suggest you do this before you start painting. Next, we're gonna mix up some craft glue with our paint. Something like an Elmer's glue or Mod Podge. It should be something that dries clear. Don't worry if the paint color is a little lighter when you're thoroughly mixing together. It'll all even out once it dries. Now add a generous layer of this mixture to everything you want flocked. Not too thick and also be careful with the brush lines. You're going to want to try to smooth those lines out before adding the flock. We want to make sure everything's wet so the flocking will adhere to it. So here's a tip for you. Not all flocking is made the same. This one is good, but I've had some very clumpy flocking before. I found that using a sieve to add the flocking fibers leaves a nice even coat. Be sure to wear a dust mask with this as these fibers will fly around. Also, line your paper with wax or parchment paper as we can collect the unused flocking after. Just shake the sieve back and forth above the box. Slowly move the box around so the flocking material evenly coats the entire surface. You can also use a plastic condiment tube. This works great with really fine flocking. You won't really use much material in this size box. We'll be able to save and reuse all the excess fibers. Now, let this completely dry. You're gonna to wanna to let it sit for about 10 hours. Overnight is best so that it really has time to set. All right, we can move all the excess flocking. Just flip it over and gently tap over the wax paper. You're going to want to do this a few times to make sure all the loose fibers come off. You can even give it a few gentle blasts with some compressed air from afar if you want. Don't forget to wear a dust mask. All this leftover is usable. Just fold the wax paper in half and return it to its container. Now you can remove the masking tape.
if need be, you can sand any imperfections. This looks amazing and it's a great way to level up a simple laser cut box. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more helpful videos like this. We'll see you next time.